Hey guys, this lesson's on using the dielectric constant uh, with um, electric potential and stuff like that. So, let's say we have a capacitor right here with um, uh, two, two millimeters uh, in between it, and it has a electric or a potential difference of 1,010 volts. And um, what we should do then is we put in an insulator right here. And this insulator has a dielectric constant of 3.5. And what we want to figure out is the new uh, potential or potential difference from here to here. Well, to do that, we have to uh, figure out uh, our electric fields. And, uh, of all these uh, areas. So first of all, it was this was it before the insulator was put in there. So to figure out um, the electric field for these two areas, we have to uh, take or uh, figure out what uh, our electric field originally was. So remember, volts equals E field times delta L. So originally. It was 1,010 volts equaled uh, whatever E times 0 0.002 meters, and that'll give us our E. So you just uh, take this uh, 1,010 and divide it by 0 0.02, take this from here and put it under there, and that'll give us our E. And that will give us an E of 50,000 or 550,000 actually, um, Newtons per coulomb, which is a huge electric field, but uh, okay. So with this, we can find uh, the voltage drop from at least for these two points, um, and that will be, we can just add them up because they're uh, just going to be, it uh, doesn't matter where they are. So we'll just say 550 thousand, which is our electric field, times our dot product, but since it's all on the same axis, we're not going to worry about that, um, 0 0.001 meter, because that's what these two, when you add them up, equal. And that will equal 505. So um, that'll give us at least we know it's from from here to here. It's 505 uh, voltage drop. But now the tricky part is figuring out what the voltage drop in between this insulator is. We have the dielectric constant, um, so now we just have to figure out the E field in it. Well, the formula for finding that is E inside the insulator equals the E applied over the dielectric constant. And so to find the E inside the insulator, the E applied, which is the E that's going across this capacitor anyway, which we found was five that or five hundred and five thousand newtons per coulomb over the dielectric constant, which is three point five. And now since we have that, we just have to multiply that by point zero, oh, sorry, I'm going to put this as a multiplication sign right here, uh, not, a, not a cross product, um, times point zero zero one, because that's how far we're going across the insulator here. So once you multiply that all out, that'll equal 144.3 uh, about volts. So now to find the total voltage drop across this whole thing, we just have to add the voltage drop across the insulator, which was this, plus the voltage drop from these two air points, which was 505 right here, and uh, volts, and that will give us an answer of about 649.3 volts. And that's how you figure out how much volts 
uh, are between something with an insulator and, and air gaps. Uh, if you have any questions on uh, this or any other physics question, uh, leave me a message and I'll be happy to get back to you. Um, and I'll see you next lesson.